Hello friends, welcome back. So for example, let me just uh, tsip uh, remove this file here. Okay, I will simply just uh, remove it here, comment it out. Okay, and now go here. Um, okay, so now go to the post. For example, um, this is the like a block image I'm taking. Okay, so this is the block image which is created by the administrator role. Okay, so I'm simply copy this uh, URL. Okay, now here I have logged in with editor, but let me just log out. Log logged in with the author role, author user. Okay, and simply if I put the uh, link here, you can see that uh, WordPress says that sorry, you are not allowed to edit this item. Okay, so let's see how WordPress are checking whether the current user can edit this item because I am I am logged in with the author role. I I am trying to access the post which is created by the other author or the other user's role. Okay, so how WordPress is checking? So these are the call post.php file. Um, so you can go here and go to the WP admin um, and then post.php file uh quickly quickly post.php file okay and simply uh you can copy this message uh so i'm i'm always follow this uh to explore the wordpress core base and see how things are look working okay and uh these are the some other okay now here this is from message died here wp die whether current user uh, current user can edit a post or not and they have we have passed the post id okay so now you you are checking here that we are not checking whether the current user can edit a publish post or not we are checking with whether the current user can edit a post and then a map meta cap function will see whether that user have access or not based on this primitive capabilities okay so here if you go here user user can just check this uh keep eye on this uh arguments and all, all all the parameters which we are passing okay so in the current user can we are passing the capability which is the edit post and this is the arguments it's spread operator so uh we are passing the uh object id which is the post id okay and then current user can function call this user can okay um, and then it will simply wp get current user so it will get the current user object and sim pass it and the uh, what and other arguments which we have passed edit post capability and the post id so if you go to the user can here uh it will just get the uh, user and then it will call the has kept function here okay so now we are we are here right now okay so let me simply just do a pre tag here i will simply pass this cap okay we will see how these things works capability and then dollar this user id it's, it's like a user id we are passing okay so i think this should work no this won't be work i have to pass it like i will use echo and then arguments what are the arguments it's passed okay so i have to use uh, print underscore r here okay uh, dollar args okay and let me also use the same here Okay. Um, yeah now uh, in between we when we are do eco die a lot in between many caps uh, capabilities will be checked by the user uh, during this particular request so i will simply add uh, into the post.php file simply here i will add here a p tag and i will just simply state a starting okay so based on this string we can easily check um, whether uh, uh like to just find the exactly echo die value when we refresh the page okay so this will tell us the starting point to look for because be before that also uh, wordpress will check uh, different uh, other uh, capabilities uh, for the author roles as well so that's why okay so now if you go here into the cap uh, users wp user uh, here and now if i click here now you can see uh, okay i have it i have added a die here so i have to remove it otherwise it won't be 
move forward so that's why it's mentioned and uh, before that also some other capabilities will be checked so here i will simply search for the uh, starting okay so here is this the starting so uh, so for example uh, in the post.php here i have started so uh, and after that this current user can edit post is being run okay and here we are we have this w uh, uh, error message we have okay so here you can see the starting and then it will simply run the edit post and then for which is the user id and then add a in the array we have the post id which is the same post id 1788 okay and then it says sorry you are not allowed to edit this item okay so now we are here in the user cap map ability so i will simply now remove this one okay and now i will simply here uh sorry um i will simply just uh echo the uh, return value of this map meta cap okay and now simple uh, refresh this page um now you can see here after this uh, before this error message okay uh we are seeing here edit other post and edit publish post so these uh two capabilities re primitive capabilities returned by the uh by the map meta cap but we have passed the edit post capability right but uh, the this function return the edit other post and edit publish post capabilities so how this works so when we go here map meta cap here we got the edit post capability then user id and the arguments means the post id so on the zero index there will be a post id okay so if we uh, check for switch case edit uh, post okay edit post here and also uh, in the comment means edit post breakdown to edit post edit publish post or edit other post okay uh, and similar goes for the edit page as well but currently we are editing the post so edit post it will get from the arguments uh, from the zero index it will get the post id they are fetching the post id object okay uh, post object and then simply they are checking whether it's revision or not if it's revision then we don't want to allow so it will simply pass do not allow um, okay and if this caps is exist do not allow that means wordpress we don't want to allow access to that particular request okay uh, then it will fetch the uh, post type object from that uh, from the post post type okay so simply they pass the post type object okay and then they are checking whether this map meta cap uh, uh, exi uh, property exists or not okay so this post meta map meta cap will use whether uh, to identify whether this or uh, post type do have this uh, 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 do have access uh, sorry are using the map meta capability or not okay the, the the primitive capabilities okay so in the registered post type function uh, let me just go to the here movie and go to the registered post type okay and here you can see in the documentation um, this map meta cap whether to use the internal default meta capability handling or not if you if you pass default is false okay but if you are using the default capabilities default post capabilities so we have default post cap uh, post post type and if we are not passing the custom capabilities to the post type then it will use the default post capabilities okay and if it's a true then it will simply return the set the true so if you uh, map meta cap here and if you go to the wp post type class and uh, if you go to the set props okay here you can see this um, map meta cap right so if it will see whether uh, capabilities uh, we, have we passed the custom capabilities if it's empty then it will check whether this map meta cap capability passed and if it's a capability type it's a default to post or page using this capability type we can means we can say whether we want to use a custom capabilities for this our custom post types or not if we haven't passed this capability type um, then it will be a default to post or page okay so by default it's a post and then it will simply say map meta cap and if it's true then uh, here it will go further allow if that map, map, map meta cap is true and if it's not true then simply it will use the edit post and whether that uh, your role do have capability about edit post or not okay uh, so this is the long way explanation but yeah um so simply they will say uh, what is the uh, edit post capability so let me also print uh, here i know i'm 
adding the modifying the code files for understanding purpose okay we can also use ax debug but i prefer the, this simply eco die method here okay uh, i will simply remove the die later on i will un, un all the changes we will i will revert back okay and if we go here now you can see the post type object we have right and uh, you can uh, Okay, so now here you can see the read uh, added post will have a added post cap. Okay, uh, this is the capabilities. So uh, we, uh, in the next video, we will go through how this capability is created. Okay, uh, because it's uh, it, it needs another video for explanation. Uh, okay, so now uh, they will check whether this capability added post capability have different capability or not. Okay, because if we can, uh, we can also have a, a custom capability. What if we don't want to use a default capabilities then this edit post capability map to the different for example edit underscore movie right because we have a post type slug movie so that we can do okay so for example let me just give you uh, another part is movie so if i i have make a changes here okay so i will simply pass capability type movie okay and now if i change it here It's not being refreshed here. Okay, something is wrong. It's not being displayed here. Okay, so let me just keep it here simple. I will simply just uh, comment it again. Okay, I will I will talk about this uh, capability type uh, in the next video in the in the more detail. Okay, but for now we we are going to check how these capabilities are working. Okay then if uh, then they will check uh, in the next condition they will check whether the post do have a uh, current post author and the current user are the both uh, same if the post author is set and the user is the author then they will check whether if the post is published or scheduled so current post status will check whether it's published or if it's a schedule and based on that they will get a capability okay so here you can see uh, this uh which one is that uh edit publish post okay so here you can we can have a edit a publish post and its capability is edit publish post okay so these are the keys value pair here so edit publish posts okay and uh again if it's a trash um, then it will just simply check with edit publish post or it will just simply check whether it's editing post or not if it's a trash uh like if the post status is a trash okay else it will simply get the if the post is dropped then it will simply get the capability from the edit post okay so edit post um capabilities edit post here okay so here we are we are seeing the similar key values here because we are uh using the default post uh, uh default post type post capabilities here okay like because if you want a different one then we will we have to pass this capability type so in the next video uh, we will see how we can use this capability type to have a custom capabilities okay thanks for watching see you on the next one jai wordpress